This is the second single replacement reaction video. The first single replacement reaction video covered a metal replacing a metal, a nonmetal replacing a nonmetal, and an active metal replacing hydrogen from water. I actually got cut off at the end. My um, iPad had stopped recording and I didn't realize that we didn't get the last part, which is a metal replacing hydrogen from an acid. So this is gonna be a real short video and just consider this as the second single replacement reaction video. So um, when you put a metal, an active metal with acid, Sometimes the metal will kick the hydrogen out of the acid, leaving you with hydrogen gas, because remember, that's diatomic. It's not going to be just hydrogen. You're going to have to have a two there. And then the metal is going to combine with this X. Now, this X is either going to be a nonmetal or a polyatomic ion. So you may have something here like chlorine, fluorine, bromine, or you could have nitrate, sulfate, something to that effect. So the metal kicks hydrogen out, leaving you with hydrogen gas, and then the metal crisscrosses with um, the appropriate um, nonmetal or polyatomic ion. Now, um, with these, you're going to need your activity series. And I've just cut this out of the reference table packet to put here. Because um, if you'll recall, the activity series tells us for metals, for example, this one's for metals, like lithium can kick anything below it out of the way. Potassium can kick anything under it out of a compound, but it can't kick out anything above it. And there's also an activity series for the nonmetals, or in this case, the halogens. We won't need that for this lesson, but um, you will need this one the metal one, because there are some special circumstances written over here on the right. For example, this little group right here, these metals can kick hydrogen out of cold water. This group can kick hydrogen out of steam. This group, and this is the one we're interested in today, all of these guys from this line up, right here's the arrow, they can kick the hydrogen out of an acid. So in order for the metal to replace the hydrogen from the acid, it's going to have to fall into this group. So you would actually need the activity series for these as well. I'll um, refer you to the reference table packet if you're using that. And you can see right here is our generic reaction, a metal with an acid. And remember, the X is just either a nonmetal or a polyatomic ion. It tells us the metal crisscrosses with X, and we also get hydrogen gas. So that said, let's take a look at these. They are just like the other single replacement reactions. Remember, you crisscross, then you couple together, starting with the original ions. So um, number one is calcium plus hydrochloric acid. So I notice I've got an acid, so I'm going to ask myself, can calcium replace hydrogen out of hydrochloric acid. So you want to look at these guys. These are the metals that can replace hydrogen from an acid. Calcium does fall in that group. And what that means is this calcium can kick this hydrogen out. So hydrogen just got booted to the curb. And now we're going to put together calcium and chloride. Remember, calcium is a plus two. Chloride's a minus one. So that gives you CaCl2. So when this happens, you're going to get hydrogen gas and then some sort of ionic compound, or you could say salt. So let's look at number two. We have nitric acid and potassium metal. So potassium metal is like our third wheel, and what it wants to do is it wants to kick the hydrogen out of this acid. So we're going to look at our list, and yes, potassium does fall in that group. So potassium is kicking the hydrogen out. That leaves hydrogen gas all by itself. And now potassium wants to hook up with nitrate. Remember, we always write the cation first. So potassium has a plus one. Nitrate's NO3 minus one, and that gives you KNO3. And notice in this one, the single element, the one I call the third wheel, 
it was written first, and number two, it was written second. It doesn't matter the order that you write these in. You just got to be able to recognize, hey, I've got a pair or an ionic compound, and then I've got something all by itself. So now let's look at number three. We have aluminum and sulfuric acid. So what aluminum wants to do, being a metal, is it wants to kick that hydrogen out of that sulfuric acid. So let's look at the activity series and see if that can happen. Aluminum is here. It does fall within the group of metals that can kick the hydrogen out of sulfuric acid. So I want you to imagine aluminum's just given that hydrogen a big old kick. Hydrogen just got booted to the curb, and now aluminum and sulfate are going to hook up. Aluminum is a plus three. Sulfate is SO4 minus two. Al2, and then in parentheses, SO4. Three. Don't forget, when you crisscross, you got to protect that polyatomic ion with parentheses. And one more. We have hydroiodic acid. That's a mouthful for that little bitty formula, but remember, for binary acids, you say hydro, whatever, ick. And this happens to be iodine, so hydroiodic acid. Hydroiodic acid and zinc metal. So we got to see if zinc can kick that hydrogen out of the acid, so does zinc fall in that category? It does, it's right there. Hydrogen just got kicked to the curb. Don't forget to put the two on it because it is diatomic. Zinc is gonna hook up with iodine. Zinc is always a plus two. Iodine, or iodide in this case, because it's an anion, is a minus one. Z-N-I-2. So you can see um, the acids are very straightforward, um, very simple. Just remember, if you have any type of single replacement reaction, do yourself a favor, and if you're able to use a reference table packet on homeworks and tests and things like that, make sure that you always refer to it because it's an excellent guide. Um, it's just a lot of stuff you don't have to memorize. If you're a college student and you're expected to know this, Make sure you memorize these. It is so well worth your time because you've got to be really careful. Um, and this was from the first video, but I want to remind you that when a metal kicks hydrogen out of water, that metal actually crisscrosses with hydroxide and we add hydrogen gas. And that one is often confused with um, the synthesis metal oxide water um, combination, which gives you a base. Very subtle differences, so make sure you pay attention to the details. So that's it. That's all for single replacement. The next video coming up will be your double displacement reactions.